हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर अनिकेत पावनोजी एंड यू आर वाचिंग बेसिक केमिस्ट्री वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ केमिस्ट्री ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू आइडेंटिफाई अ कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड and one should not get confused between a double salt and a coordination compound let's take an example ammonium sulfate if it is added to ferrous sulfate and with some water molecules it gets converted into potash alum another example potassium sulfate if it is added to aluminum sulfate and some water molecules it turns into a mohr salt both potash alum and mohr salt are called as double salts these are not the coordination compounds For example if this potash alum is added to a water all of these ions will get separated from each other now if we carry out the semi micro qualitative analysis the solution if it is tested with nestler's reagent it will give brown ppt that indicates the presence of ammonium ion now to the same solution if we add barium chloride solution it will turn into a white precipitate that indicates presence of sulfate ion it will also give a test for ferrous ion with the help of dilute hcl and kcns it will give a blood red color that means if this double salt is added to an water like a simple salt when it is added to a water for example nacl if nacl is added to a water it will give test for sodium ion as well as for chlorine because both the cation and anion get separated from each other in the same way double salts also get separated into its individual ion each of the ion will get detected in semi micro qualitative analysis let's move to the next example for example k3fecn6 now if this compound is added to a water it will get separated into 3k+ plus, plus fecn6 3 minus similarly co nh3 6 cl3 if it is added to water it will give co nh3 6 3 plus plus 3 chloride ions Now in the first case if we carry out a test with the help of sodium cobalt nitrate it will give a brown color precipitate that means the potassium ion which is outside the square bracket the test is positive but if we carry out a test for ion with the help of dilute hcl and kcns it will give no result that means the ion is completely associated with the six cyanide ligands and in semi micro qualitative analysis the test comes out to be negative that means ion is not giving its individual identity in the similar fashion when co nh3 6cl3 is added to water it will give test for chloride ion as it is outside the sphere when it is treated with agno3 solution it will give white precipitate if we carry out a test for cobalt ion which is inside the square bracket the result of the test will be negative with ammonium thiocyanate Similarly if we carry out a test for ammonia with the help of nestler's reagent it will not give brown color precipitate that means the ions which are inside the square bracket or inside the sphere they do not show their individual identity these compounds are called as coordination compounds the difference between double salt and a coordination compound is in solution the double salt breaks up and forms constituent simple ions whereas in case of coordination compound it breaks up partially and forms at least one complex ion along with simple ions in case of double salt it is stable only in the crystalline state and loses its identity in a solution whereas in case of coordination compound it is stable in crystalline state and retains its identity even in solution so what are the coordination compound a coordination compound is a complex compound in which the number of ions or molecules attached to the central metal atom or ion is beyond the number possible on the basis of electrovalent or covalent bonding for example in this case ion could be associated with two or three cyanide ions that is the plus 2 or plus 3 oxidation state but in this coordination compound the ion is associated with six cyanide ions so if it would have been a k3fecn6 it would have been called as coordination compound but now as we can see there is a minus 3 charge on it it is called as complex ion found when an ion mostly of a metal is directly linked to a group of neutral molecules or ions 
the most common complex ions are the metal centered complex now in this case the metal is at the center this is called as central metal atom fe then cyanide ion is called as ligand which is the surrounding moiety and as we can see a minus 3 charge on this coordination compound it is called as complex ion a complex ion is more or less stable charged aggregate formed when an ion mostly of a metal is directly linked to a group of neutral molecules or ions whenever we find a negative or positive charge on the square bracket it is called as complex ion and if this minus 3 charge is balanced with the help of a cation like potassium if it is k3fecn6 it would have been called as coordination compound so this was just an introduction of coordination compound in this coordination compound a cyanide which is called as ligand so these ligands are of different types basically these ligands are the molecules or ions which are coordinated to the central metal atom or ion in a coordination compound we will see in detail what is ligand in the next video and we will also see the examples like monodentate ligands polydentate ligands not only this we will also see ambidentate and flexidentate ligands if you like my video click on like do share and subscribe my channel if you want to mention something or ask something mention it in the comment box also hit the bell icon to get the notification of my new videos and keep watching basic chemistry thank you